Welcome back everybody to the third race in the Radiator Springs Local Racing Series. A racing series where anyone who wants to race can race. Right you are, Daryl. As it gets darker out, our race continues even though it was supposed to stop. That is rat. You see, a small crash happened. Eh, who am I kidding? A major disaster on the track happened. And, um, it caused most of our racers to be injured. That is right, and we were supposed to call off the race. However, the racers, including those who crashed, all led by TJ, started saying that we should finish the race. They started demanding it, chanting it, and now we are going to. Or, rather, we have been. Yeah, they, they've been racing for like five minutes now. Let's cut back to that camera. <laughs> And tail fin pass, the racers are speeding by. And the landscape of the race has changed a bit due to the removal of the racers who crashed. Dexter Hoover has moved up very close to the pack of racers. And Aaron is right behind Manji. Sally, unfortunately, was one of those who crashed. So now there's a little less competition between the race cars. Rex Revler was also removed, so that's one less professional racer in the race. Billy Oil Changer is doing a surprisingly good job. He's doing pretty well with keeping up. Meanwhile, Francesco and Lightning are in the lead. Okay, I take that back. Meanwhile, Danny Suarez is in the lead. Now, while those cars continue, I'd like to direct your attention to a very special car in the race. He's green. He isn't a professional racer, but he's pretty good at racing, and he is very well liked by our viewers. That, of course, is TJ. TJ has kind of uh, gotten a bit of a following throughout these races. TJ has been in all three of them, and fans and viewers alike have been intrigued and inspired by his willingness to keep on going no matter what. We asked our racers before this race started what strategies they would use in an attempt to win the race. What they thought they would do. And um, there were several interesting answers. Sarge discussed his military training. Smokey discussed um, all the different things he's taught as a crew chief and applying them here. And the mime pretended to be stuck in a wooden crate. But TJ, TJ said something very interesting. He mentioned that he had been trained by Lightning and had learned all the famous moves of the fabulous Hudson Hornet. Danny Suarez is the first racer to reach the top of the cliff. All he has to do is drive off of it and land and he will be first place. <sighs> Not so fast, Mr. Suarez. Not so fast, Mr. Suarez. Not so fast, Mr. McQueen. Not so fast, Mr. Oil Changer. Not so fast, Mr. You know what? This is really stupid. <sighs> Seems like there's a whole pack of cars trying to take the victory. Billy's in front. Now Lightning. Now Danny. Now Francesco. <sighs> Seems they've all just been like bundled together or something. <sighs> Here comes Smokey. Here comes Manji, and here comes TJ. Francesco will be the victor. No way, man. I am winning this one. And still, as like a complete pack, the racers are going up the cliff. Everybody is attempting to move up and get first. Let's see what happens. <laughs> TJ is the first to land. And it seems that in order to do that, he pulled off the Hudson Hornets classic turn rat to go left move. A well-deserved victory for a racer who has tried his best the whole way through. Mm -hmm. ah! Whoa! Man. 
Oh. Oh man. This crash. I feel like I gotta move. Hmm. Gaskets. The track time tree. 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 <laughs> Many have challenged me, but none of those know who I am. 